Yo, what is up guys? So today I want to talk about the topic of Costco and whether going to Costco actually makes you want to spend more money than you normally would. It's something that I've also kind of thought about when I have to renew my membership and I look at my, my credit card bill and I'm like, dude, I sp I'm spending way too much at Costco and then should I keep it or should I just shop at my local Trader Joe's or somewhere else? Someone asked, so let's go ahead and jump in and get into the topic. So the title of this post says, Costco is a trap to make you spend more. I recently switched to Costco after using Sam's Club membership for five years. And let me tell you, Costco is a trap designed to make you spend more. I am spending twice as much with no apparent reason. I am buying stuff that otherwise I would never buy. You're not alone, bro. It is common belief that you save money with Costco, but that's bullshit. A lot of products in Costco are 10 to 30% more expensive and you end up buying stuff in quality and quantities that you never would buy. I have seen people spending $500 to $700 on just one trip on groceries, which is insane for a family of two to four people. Switching from Costco can easily reduce your grocery bills by 20 to 50%. Plus, Costco is always overcrowded, hard to find parking with long lines at checkout. Preach. Preach. Membership is expensive and a lot of brands are not top quality. Personal finance hashtag total comp 255,000. And this guy works at Amazon. All right, a fellow Amazonian complaining about Costco. So let's go down this list, guys. All right, so first of all, he makes a couple claims that I, I do partially agree with, but not everything here. First of all, his claim that a lot of products in Costco are 10 to 30% more expensive. Costco is a discount retailer and oftentimes they have sales. Now, are items at Costco going to always be cheaper than everywhere else? Of course not. You know, sometimes there's Black Friday deals that you find at Amazon or Slick Deals or Walmart.com or whatever it is that are going to be a lot cheaper than Costco, but they're able to offer bulk discounts because they oftentimes will bundle things together or they'll, you know, sell spam in, in packages of 16 rather than just one. And so if you do the math, 90%, 95% of the time, things are going to be a lot cheaper at Costco, which is why business owners, which is why families and heads of household who have, you know, multiple dependents in their families go to Costco because they can get that volume discount. Now, the second claim, you end up buying stuff in quantities that you never would buy. Costco, it's, it's a basically a big warehouse, right? And so you walk down the, the aisles. And for those of you who have never been to Costco, I recommend that you guys check it out. But you basically walk through a huge warehouse and things are just on on shelves all over the place. And there's sort of a method to the madness where, you know, just like a normal grocery store, things are organized. You've got your household item section. You've got your groceries in the back, self hygiene and beauty products kind of at the front of the checkout line. And so things are very strategically placed where first, when you go in, you see like these massive OLED TVs that are just yelling at you to buy them, you know, of course, at three to four or five thousand dollars. But basically things are strategically placed within the store so that as you're kind of walking through to get to the groceries at the very end, you're forced to kind of go through, hey, there's a nice little Dyson vacuum here. Oh, look at this. There's a new you know, espresso maker and it's only $1,000, right? So things are going to be strategically placed and Costco does a really good job of making sure that these flashy items are going to be standing out. And they also have... You know, unlike a lot of grocery stores, they have these little booths and kiosks where either Costco employees or contractors at different companies will start demoing their latest products. I remember, you know, going through uh, with my girlfriend and we were looking at the kitchen and cookware and they had someone kind of demoing like the benefits of like the hex clad frying pans, which are these really expensive frying pans. I still don't know exactly why they're so good and why they're so different than normal frying pans that you can get for $15 on Amazon. But these frying pans are a couple hundred dollars and they're supposed to never stick, never burn. They make all these claims and then of course they demo the products. They're actually doing some cooking right in front of you and they're actually showing you the, the miracles or the benefits of these products. So Costco does a really good job and that's why people are so sucked into that and that's why it's so hard to simply just walk away and say, you know what, I want this, I don't need this, I, I'm not gonna buy it, right? A lot of people just have that sort of impulse and so I think what you do here is that you just go to Costco with a list, you know, write a list on your Google calendar and say, Hey, these are the five or six things that I need. Everything else is a want and not a need. And I'm not going to even think about it or don't even walk through those sections. Just ignore it and just go straight to the groceries, get what you need and then come out. That's what I do. Uh, also the point on the quantities piece, even as a single person. So I, I tend to eat a little bit more protein than I think the average American. And for me going to Costco to let's say stock up on steaks or chicken or certain types of proteins that I can normally get at Whole Foods or Trader Joe's or whatever is just a lot cheaper when I buy at a Costco. Also, if I'm hosting, right? If I want to grill for my friends or host uh, a summer pool party or something like that, 
buying those same stakes at let's say Trader Joe's one by one versus buying a pack of six at Costco for 60 bucks is going to be a lot cheaper. So it really depends. You know, if there are certain items that can be frozen or put in the fridge that you can save and, and sort of eat at your own pace, then buying at Costco is a great deal. But if you're buying fresh things like let's say milk or if you're buying fruits and they're going to they're going to go bad after a while. Buying at Costco, if, you, if you're just feeding for yourself or two people, may not be the best option. So that's why it's one of those things where your mileage may vary. It really kind of depends on your situation, how much food you're consuming, whether the foods that you're trying to consume are things that you can put in the fridge or that you have to consume within a week. Those things all matter. And so I think if you strategically use and shop at Costco for the things that can fit in the former bucket, that's where you're going to come out on top. He also says he's seen people spending five to seven hundred dollars on just one trip for two to four people. And he says that switching from Costco can easily reduce your grocery bills by 20 to 50 percent. Like I said, this is one of those things where if you are buying those things that can be saved and you're not just buying things that you have to consume in a specific amount of time, I think you can definitely save money. For example, when I shop at Costco, I usually don't need to go grocery shopping for another week or another two or three weeks. And that's just the benefit of going to a place one time and not having to go to a grocery store every single day. And then lastly, he says Costco is always overcrowded, hard to find parking with long lines at checkouts. Membership is expensive and a lot of brands are not top quality. Yeah, so there's a lot of things to unpack there. So Costco, by definition, they're going to attract a lot of customers. They have a lot of breadth and depth when it comes to just overall products, everything from groceries to gas to tires. So you're going to deal with a lot of people. And so, you know, one of the things I do is I, I just make time right when Costco opens on the weekend to go in and get out. I usually don't spend more than an hour at Costco. I have a list of five to 10 things that I absolutely need. I go in and I get out and I don't have to deal with it. You know, if you're going to Costco midday, two to three o'clock rush hour, then that's where I think you're going to deal with the, the crowds, the parking issues, the lines. And it's just not something that I want to deal with because time is so much more precious. He also then says membership is expensive and a lot of brands are not top quality. Yeah, membership can get a little bit expensive. I think it's like 50, 60, 70 dollars last time I checked for like the business membership. Now, if you, of course, you go to executive membership and you're spending a lot more, then you might be spending a little bit more on that membership. But keep in mind that every purchase you make at Costco, I think it's like one percent or two percent back you also get four percent on gas whether you spend on gas at costco or elsewhere and costco gas is a lot cheaper uh, i think the quality is still good i i put premium gas into my type r from costco most of the time and for me that membership you know i i get a rebate every year for 70 80 bucks so it actually makes up for the membership that i have to pay every year Anyways, I, I think I addressed most of his points. I personally like Costco. Now, I don't go there every every week or every two weeks. It's probably the grocery place that I go in to, like I said, stock up on the most bulky items or the things that I know I'm going to consume for a long period of time. But for fresh produce, fruits, smaller items that I don't want a family size servings to, to consume, I'll go to Trader Joe's, I'll go to Sprouts, I'll go to Safeway for that kind of stuff. So Costco isn't your only go-to spot, and I don't think it should be. And so for the OP, I understand your frustration, but I also think there's ways to mitigate those risks and make Costco an enjoyable experience. Anyways, guys, those are kind of my thoughts. I thought this was a fun little topic to talk about. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Do you think Costco is a place that you can get most of your groceries even for a family of two? Or do you think Costco is just pointless? And you know, should you cancel that membership and go shopping elsewhere? <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below and we'll catch you guys later. Peace.